In 2025, we'll have Notion offline mode and Notion mail. So you'll want everything set up ASAP. So when it comes out, you can instantly connect it with your personal dashboard and get ahead of 99% of people. I think this 2025 Notion update will be one of the biggest personal productivity shifts in history. You'll have one setup with everything connected, speaking to each other, fully systematized and even mundane tasks fully automated. Your mail will talk to your tasks, which will talk to your projects, which talks to your meeting notes, which talks to your calendar, which is talking to your journal and so on. My life changed in 2024 when I fully adopted Notion and brought everything into it. I have all of my tasks, my projects, my life buckets, my fitness tracking, my journaling, time tracking, calendar, notes, and a bunch of other stuff, all in the one dashboard. I used to work about 14 to 16 hour days, not kidding. And one of the biggest things that's helped me dramatically cut down on this obviously unhealthy workload was to build a productivity system. So in this video, I'll show you how to bring in everything into Notion. So when these updates come around, you're set and ready to fully utilize these updates. Because just like when ChatGPT was first introduced, the first few months will give you that unfair advantage in productivity. The first people who used ChatGPT when it came out were getting more done in less time compared to the late adopters. And my guess is it will be the same case with this Notion update. So. Here's how to set up your Notion account to get ahead of 99% of people in 2025. So for this tutorial, I'll be using Headquarters, which is my premium Notion template, but you don't have to use it. You can use yours or build your own, whatever it is. But there is a link in the description if you wanna check this out. Now, the first thing that you wanna set up is your life buckets, also referred to as areas in the para method. So these are the ones I have here. And these are just like the default ones. When you download Headquarters, we have the journaling, we have admin, fitness, business, relationship, family and friends, study, career, and job. Now I've gotten emails from people adding other ones yes you can of course just click here and add another one so let's just do side hustle for example and then i can click on new bucket in here and then that loads in the template so we have all of the relevant tasks all of the relevant notes and all of the relevant projects now the reason that you want to have your buckets here is because everything you do in life will fit into one of these buckets and for me, one thing that I do very religiously is do time tracking. For the past year, I've tracked pretty much every single minute of my life, which has been really interesting. And I typically go into this tab here. Now, obviously there's no data in here as this is a new template download, but here under month buckets, I know exactly where my time is going into which of these buckets. How much time have I spent on my fitness? How much time have I spent on my job? How much time have I spent trying to progress my career, etc.? And everything you do will most likely fit into one of these buckets. And like I said, you can obviously just add another one. So the first thing that I would do is ensure you have all of your life buckets set up in Notion. Now under life buckets, like we talked here with side hustle, we have projects. So what I recommend doing is going through your life buckets here and adding the relevant projects. So let's just say here, side hustle, you have like an Etsy shop or something. What you can do, I'll just make this full screen. What I would recommend you do is start adding in the projects. Now these don't have to be the ones you're working on right now, but let's just start adding some. So I'll click on new up here and this is a new project. Let's just say set up Etsy accounts. And as you can see by default in here, the projects tasks show up the notes and the bottlenecks. We don't have to go through that right now. So I'll just click away. And then down here under no status, we have set up Etsy account underneath. And that is relating to side hustle because we are on the side hustle page. So in here, you can add all the ones you want. Now, if you want to, you could say, okay, which one of these am I going to make my favorite? And I have a rule that I talk about in my productivity course. You only really want two projects here in your personal life to be labeled as favorites, to be the ones that you're actively working on. And then you can have three projects under your income. So whether that's job or whether that's a business, whatever you do full time. So you can have three projects under your your income labeled as favorite. Whether you're using headquarters, a template you've made, or even if you're not using Notion, whatever system you have, it's going to be unrealistic to have more than five projects that you're working on at any given moment. So the second step in setting up your Notion is going through your life buckets and adding all of the relevant projects. And then what you want to do is favorite five of them. So you can either do that directly here under life buckets, or you can do that here in the project section. So if I just do that here, let's do for job, for example, let's just say update website and the life bucket here is job. 
Of course, you can add a deadline as well. Let's just say tomorrow, I really should get started on that. And now I've added this as another favorite. But of course, most likely you'll have a ton that are no status, so you're not working on, and then five here under fave. The next thing you want to do is add any relevant tasks. Now, some people have said to me, they go in straight away and just start adding all the tasks. So set up Etsy account here. They're like, sign up to Etsy, make Etsy icon or whatever it's called, and then make Etsy banner. And they go through and start adding all the tasks. You can definitely do that. And you know, if you're using headquarters, you can label the importance, urgency, state, all of that stuff as well. Or what you can do is start adding tasks as you're working throughout the day. So as you're working throughout the day and you're like, oh yeah, I need to do that thing in Etsy. You'll click on create a task and you'll write the task, do that thing in Etsy. Hopefully it will be more useful than that. And then you'll add the relevant stuff. So this is to do with side hustle. The project here is setting up Etsy account. And then this here is to do with the Eisenhower matrix. So here I can say the urgency. Let's just say that that's urgent. Let's say that this is important. And the state of mind, do that thing in Etsy. Let's just say that this is a flow state task. So it involves a lot of cognitive demand. So for step three in your Notion account, you're adding tasks. And you can either do that spare of the moment as you're working, which means that really you've only needed to set up your life buckets and projects. Or you can start adding your task list right now. You know, you might spend a few hours on this and you just start writing down the stuff. I'm just gonna start writing urgent not urgent. This one's urgent as well. As you can see, all of this is actually reorganizing itself. So in here in headquarters, I have this order tab, which uses the Eisenhower matrix to actually organize this list for you based on the importance and urgency. So it's doing that in the background here for you. So then in 2025, as you're waking up and you're thinking, what should I do today? You just look at the top of your task list and then you simply whoop, drag it in. And now I know today I should be doing that thing in Etsy. And then the next thing, okay, cool. I have more time today, click here. Boom, I should make that Etsy icon. So we're literally just working from the top of this list. And as we're completing those items, we're either ticking them here on the Eisenhower matrix, or we can tick it in here, of course, like that. That's the way I work and it's really, really useful. So if you've got maybe half a day to do some planning, what you could do is go through your task list and start adding tasks under every single project. Now, I definitely recommend starting with your favorites. So the first five projects you're actively gonna be working on, but simply clicking on the project, but saying task here, write new header text. And there we have task number one under update website. Doing that will help a lot as you'll have all of your different tasks here in this one list. And now the last thing I recommend you do in your Notion account is to go to your topics. So I'll click on topics here and open this up. So your topics will hopefully connect to your resources. So this here is all of the relevant resources. Obviously this is a new topic, so nothing will show up here, but it will also connect to your notes. So a big part of having a good Notion setup is having resources and notes in there. So let's just say productivity as one of the topics that I like. Once I've added all the topics that I like in here, now I'm ready to add resources. So let's say I like the book, Eat That Frog, the type here is book. The topic of interest is productivity. So I can select that now. And then obviously I can fill out the rest of these details. And then the other thing is when I'm taking a quick note, start the day with difficult thing. And the topic of interest here is productivity. So I can take this note here and obviously I can even add it to relevant buckets and project. Make sure when I'm planning my day, I start with the difficult thing. And there we go. I've taken this note with the relevant topic of productivity. So now I can find all of the relevant resources to do with productivity productivity. So it's eat that frog. And it's this note here, start the day with a difficult thing. Now you have fully set up your Notion account for 2025. If you found this template interesting and you want to check it out for yourself, then click on this video here, which is a full tour of the template. It has over 2000 users and a five-star rating. It is one click to download and you're ready for 2025.